Jeremy has been, as Jeff calls him, he's a mixed tech to the stars, okay? Basically, anything in a nutshell, you could talk, and even how we're using it, we'll talk to Jeff a little bit about how we're using Atmos. Talk about what do's and don'ts, and obviously we're, anybody who's watching this is, doesn't have the luxury of working on a huge dub stage, but maybe why, might want to know some insight of one day they'll be mixing in Dolby Atmos. What are some things that you, from a technical side, are higher on your list of priorities, things that are always, you know, you're always doing, and what's the end game when it comes to delivering Atmos? So for, we're in, for this movie, we're in theatrical Atmos right now. Mm -hmm. and, um, and the difference between theatrical and home? The difference between theatrical and home is, is just the amount of kind of speakers in the setup. Theatrical, you can see we have kind of every, we call them rings, so it's basically each row of speakers. It's the side speakers and the top speakers, and it's kind of a grid in, in the room. And so different rooms have different sizes of grids, but the way the Atmos system works, the way if we mix it in this room with X many speakers, mm -hmm. you go into a slightly smaller room, it'll sound generally the same. 